Live from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Today, Serena Williams is desperate and not afraid to admit it. Hear the tennis megastar's surprising thoughts on single life and wanting kids. And TV legend Rhea Perlman is here talking about her hilarious role on The Mindy Project. Plus, the November rain continues with more chances for lucky viewers to win cold, hard cash. Now, here's Wendy. to cover, so let's get started. It's time for... Veterans Day. I love you more. I am wearing my Gotcha Six pin. Yeah. It's yeah. It's a, it's in support of um, of the men and women who are veterans to empower them when they come home to take care of them. And thank you so much, all of you who are actively serving and those who served in the past. Thank you. So now, our son had school today. Are, are, are you all school teachers here? No. Are you? You had off today? Yeah. And then the banks are closed today, are they? Yeah. yeah yes. And the post office is closed? Yeah. yeah. And then the big Veterans Day parade happens here in Manhattan. When I was a kid growing up in Ocean Township, I used to look forward to Veterans Day because we'd come to Manhattan, I'd play my clarinet, and then <laughs> down. <laughs> and then afterwards, make sure that I purposely missed the bus so, so that I could underage drink with my other underage friends. And then we would take Jersey Transit back home. <laughs> Not saying it's right, but we've all had a, have a past, don't we? Yeah. Um, so attention everyone, I'm back to shaking hands. <laughs> You know, I'm a germaphobe to begin with, and then the Ebola was just the thing that pushed me over the edge, and I'm just like, I'm not shaking any more hands, and I made this declaration to you. But you know what? For two weeks, it worked, but it was like weird. Like, even at the end of the show, or when I come up to see you nice people in the audience, it's weird to just stand there and say hello to you and not touch you. you. You know, it's like weird. And then when you do business meetings, and you're meeting new people, and I'm meeting new people all the time, how do you... And people go like this, and I go, oh, I, don't, I don't shake hands anymore. But, but it's just polite people shake hands. I have no idea how Donald Trump and Howie Mandel, who are probably the most famous germaphobe, Donald's coming here soon, isn't he? Yeah. I have to talk to him about how, how do you deliver to somebody that you're not going to shake their hand? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's weird. Like, I get the whole germ thing, but it's still, it's like uncivilized not to shake people's hands, you know? So I'm back to handshaking. Yeah. <laughs> Purell is on deck. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, there are four more days until the Aaliyah movie on Lifetime. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Uh, I got a chance to sit down with one of the executive producers of the movie to get the scoop. Take a look. Wow. How you doing? I like your outfit. Mm -hmm. I see. <laughs> Great minds think alike. 
So you're used to being in front of the camera. I'm on camera enough. You know, the, the talk show is five days a week. And, you know, this gives me a chance to branch out. I like being behind the camera. You're going to see a lot in this movie, a really good movie. The casting is terrific. Alexandra Ship is playing Aaliyah. You're going to be very impressed by her. She sings, she dances, and you're going to see a lot of storylines with people that you're already familiar with. What's your favorite Aaliyah song? Let me know. I like that one, too. Let me know. <laughs> so silly. Anyway, the star of the movie, Alexandra Ship, will be here tomorrow. And Aaliyah, the princess of R&B, airs Saturday night at 8 o'clock on Lifetime. So, did you watch Dancing with the Stars last night? Clap if you did. Well, then you know that last night was threesome night on Dancing with the Stars. Alphonse Ribeiro was the standout as usual. He got a perfect score, but of course, they danced to Little John's Turn Down for what? Yeah. And uh, like I said, he will win Dancing with the Stars. Um, you know, without a doubt. Um, Tommy Chong. Tommy Chong of Cheech and Chong fame is 76 years old. He's still there. He's like doing the alley cat or something. I, I can't figure it out, but uh, ew. Okay, well, he's 76 years old and you know how Dancing with the Stars is. They, they, they have like a formula. There's a, the old person, the Disney kid, the, you know, like that. So here's the older person. And you know, like I reminded you last week, Tommy has gone further than any other old person on the show. Not even Cloris, not even Buzz have gone as far as him. And might I add, you know, um, considering his lifestyle all these years, <laughs> He really is easy on the eyes. You know, like, he still has a nice head of hair. You know, it's a beautiful shade of white. He's got a flat stomach and a straight back, and he doesn't walk hunched over. I, I mean, you know, good luck, Tommy, but Alfonso's gonna win. Oh, by the way, the girl from Pretty Little Liars, Janelle Parrish, was on, and that's when I had to turn the TV off. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why. Because what they're dancing to, all right, see the black guy, his name is Kayo, and you see they're doing the Alvin Ailey. They brought K.O. back to do this African tribal dance, which I thought, as a black person, I felt very uncomfortable. Dancing with the Stars, what is wrong with you all? <laughs> like, am I the only person who was uncomfortable, even if you're not black, that K.O. showed up to do the black dance? Oh. Lady in the back, yeah, cla clap if you were a little uncomfortable. Like, I was a little uncomfortable. I mean, you know, we live in such a sensitive world these days. Every ethnic group, every religion, we're so sensitive about some. I wish that we weren't that way, but we are that way. And, um, you know, K.O. was eliminated early on. Like, he was, like, the, one of the first or second people to eliminate it. This is the first time they've ever had a black pro dancer. And I forgot who he was dancing with. A white girl, though. Um, but she, who was she dancing? Lolo Jones. Lolo Jones. Oh, a half white, half black girl. <laughs> Lolo Jones she was dancing with. Anyway, so, but they got eliminated really, really early, and so when you get eliminated, that's it for you. But they brought him back specifically to do this tribal dance, and I just made me want to scratch and take a shower. Like, <laughs> Dancing with the Stars, are you serious? Anyway, um, Leah Thompson uh, was there. You remember her. She, uh, well, she got sent home last night. Remember her from Back to the Future? Um, yeah. Well, she got sent home. Not all, oh, please. <laughs> We're, we're eliminating people until Alfonso wins the mirror ball. Dancing with the Stars airs Monday nights at 8 on ABC. <laughs> so, our friend Serena Williams wants a man. And, and she's not afraid to admit it. Now, she had a big Twitter, like sometimes when celebrities, you know, um, when they have their Twitter account and they go on and they answer questions from their fans and stuff. So she had one of these uh, things yesterday at her Twitter and fans asked her, uh, one particular girl, um, are you single? And so Serena said, yes, but not by choice. Um, Serena was also asked, does she eventually want to settle down and have children? And she responded, desperately, my time will come. Aww. And here's what I like about you know, her declaration, is that at least she's honest about not enjoying being single. I think that, you know, there are, I think that there's so many, 
There's so many single people that put on the brave face, particularly women, about how, you know, you know, I don't need a man. I'm glad to be single. But, you know, ladies, there's nothing wrong with living in your truth. To me, it doesn't make you seem desperate at all to say you can't stand being single and you would like to have a man or a woman, not judging. <laughs> um, and so... And then... In the meeting this morning, there were a few people who said, well, don't you think that something like that would scare men off? I said, no, it, it does process el of elimination. If she puts it out there that she wants to get married and she's 33 years old, you know, certainly she's lived enough to know what she wants out of life. She, she wants to get married and she wants to have kids. And if a guy's not down with that, then you don't even have to need to have a first date with her, you know? <laughs> so. As a matter of fact, you know, she was dating, she, she dates a lot of people. My advice to her would be, you keep putting it out there. I don't think that that sounds desperate at all. Um, because for everybody who reads the article, there could be that one person who's seeking you out. You know, that, that, that one guy that, you know, you're going to put it in the universe. I think that you need to, you know, keep your hair done, your nails done, <laughs> your teeth brushed, you know. And, and, and if I might add, make manhunting a priority next to paying your bills. What is, what is wrong with that? What is, what is wrong with that? I mean, you know, I always say that men are everywhere because they truly are girls. They're not all gay, they're not all in jail. Men are everywhere. But, but for some of you all, now I, I know, the, and you know, I don't know exactly what you want or what your parents will let you bring home, but what I like about Serena manhunting is that Serena is racially fluid, you see, you see. And I, and I have to say, you know, uh, long, or, long gone are the days. Like, uh, you, I have a girlfriend in particular, she's in her 40s. She only dates black guys. She's black too. That's all she's ever done. <laughs> really, lady? <laughs> she's up there raising the roof. Oh, yeah, black men, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, she's in her late 40s, like on the other side of 45, and she only dates black men. And I'm like, girl, are you serious? Like, you've got to cast your rods in all kinds of water. You never know what you're gonna pull up. Yeah. You know, she's like, and you know, Serena, Serena is very physically fit and that scares off some guys, I guess, you know, because she's such an athlete on one hand, but on the other side, you know, and I don't know her personally like that, but I do know like she's a, she comes across as a girl girl when she's off the court. Like she's about the hair and the makeup and doing the nails. And I bet you she is gonna wait for a man to open the door for her. She's not the, she doesn't take the athleticism and you know, run up behind her guy while he's loading the dishwasher and pick him up with a bear hug, <laughs> you know? Um, so hang in there, Serena. Your man is just around the corner. Good luck, good luck. The following story I don't care about. But I'm doing it because I think you care. If you don't care, then let me know, because I can go on. A Kendra story? Okay, wait. Wait, wait, hold on. Let's take a survey. No, wait, hold on, you guys. Hold, hold on, hold on. Clap if you, clap if you say don't do the story. Well, it's about Kendra and Hank, and she's finally left him, and she's gonna be going to... I, 50 percent of the audience... 50, they, they made plans to come to this show, so they said, we are gonna make noise and pipe up. We are gonna have a time of it at the Wendy Show today. No, but look. 50% of you don't care, 50% of you do care, and as the host, I don't care, so I don't care. Bye, bye, girl. Done. Well, I don't know how you are on your Olsen twin spottings. Like, do you know the difference between Mary-Kate and Ashley? <laughs> you don't care about that either? <laughs> well, 
Look, Mary Kate recently walked the red carpet and she looked very different from her twin sister. Here's Mary Kate before, well, but here they are on the red carpet. Okay, Mary Kate is the one over here with seemingly a little facial work, including, including lip injection on the top. I'll show you her before and after, allegedly. But put up the before and after. Okay, that's her, be no, no, put up the after also. No, put, put, up, put them together, put them together. There, there you go. Now, now, I am not a plastic surgeon, but I know people. <laughs> and what I would say is there is a definite nose job. Yeah. The, the tip has been refined and everything has been slimmed. There's top lip injection. And maybe she was happier here than she is there. Doesn't she look very sad? She, she looks very sad. Well, anyway, now let's see the twins together. I can't tell them apart still. Let's see. I, I can't really, I can't tell them apart. You can tell them apart? I can't even tell Tia and Tamara apart. And I know one of them has a mole and one doesn't. I, I still, and I, I can't tell the difference. And uh, when, when, I, when I see the show, The Real, I can't figure out which one's hosting the show. <laughs> Shout out to all you girls at The Real. And I don't know whether it disgusts twins that people feel that way, but sometimes you, you can't tell them apart, so you just lump them together. Like I call Tia Tamara, Tia Tamara. <laughs> and, I, and I still refer to the Olsen twins as the Olsen twins. And maybe for, for twins, they want to be individualized. You know, there are a lot of twins, they fight all their life to be individual. Personally speaking, I wish I had a twin. I might be wishing for the wrong thing, you know, because I'm on the outside looking in, but I, I wish that I had a twin. I, I really do, a, an absolute, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a twin because, you know, life is hard. And if you're like me, you know, you make and, and dump girlfriends all the time. But, you know, with your twin, you're stuck with your twin. And, and I mean, in a good way, like life is tough and it's, it must be the best thing in the world to have your longest, strongest friend be the same person who shared your womb and it finishes your sentences. Um, on the other hand, I guess, like, when you get older as a twin, I would imagine that, you know, like, as you get older, where death is looming, you know? Like, you're not used to being without the twin. So the sad part of being a twin is probably, like, around 70. You know, you know, what, I, you know what I mean? I don't mean to bring you down. Come on, let's lift up. Let's do another story. So now this Nick Jonas took off his purity ring. And... Look at the way he's looking at us, just the eyes alone. Look at how he's looking at us. Easy, ladies, he's only 22. Now, don't you wanna take a shower? Don't you feel dirty? Anyway, he's talking about sex and here's what he says. Sex is such an important part of a healthy life in the sense that it's such an uh, intrinsic part of who you are. When your sex life is not healthy, you resort to other things as an outlet. <laughs> what other things, like robbing and stealing? Yeah. Dr substance abuse? I, I don't know. Porn? Yeah. yeah. Well. <laughs> well. Here's the thing, um, I'm glad he took the purity ring off. Uh, purity rings, I'm not judging, but I'm judging. <laughs> I just think that purity rings or doing a lot of talking about still being a virgin are a waste of everyone's time, including yours. And I'll tell you why, because more often than not, you end up not saving it till marriage and then the rest of the world is looking at you like, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's okay, welcome to the wild side. We couldn't hold out either. <laughs> You know, I mean, we saw this happen with Britney Spears. Britney wore the purity ring and then she, she got unpured before she got married. You know, um, Jordan Sparks and that purity ring and she got unpured too. 
And now here he is with the purity ring, and but there's no more purity ring. And if anything, he's doing everything opposite to show us he's a man now. Right. Remember, yeah. remember the boxing shorts? You know the picture with the boxing shorts? Uh oh. And he won't stop looking at us like that, right? With the sex face. You know, I already checked, he's five feet nine. Cause if you're like me, you're like, there's one thing that might turn me off and that's if he's, you know, five feet tall. Nope, he's five nine, that's a nice height. Even for a girl who's five feet 11, if I dip on one hip, <laughs> we're the same. <laughs> He's been to our show before and I never looked at him, you know, in, in any other way, but oh, what a fine young man from New Jersey in his purity ring, mm -hmm. <laughs> However, we'll be up close and personal with him next Wednesday because he's gonna be here. Christina Aguilera just had her baby um, three months ago and she's already back to looking terrific. Look what she looks like now. Yeah. I've just always, you know. I've just always thought she's a dynamite looking woman no matter what size she's been, you know, because she's bloomed up a lot and then she's gotten really thin. And there's some people that can just rock that sexy regardless of what, uh, what size they are. And I think that she is definitely one of them. I, I dig her. I wonder how much weight she gained in order to lose it in three months. Did you lose your weight in three months? I gained 100 and, I gained 103 pounds. It took forever and a tummy tuck. Uh, and then there's Drew Barrymore who had her baby with her husband, um, Will Koppelman. And Drew, is struggling to lose her weight. Now she says that um, her baby was her, her baby was born six months ago, and her husband will. They look like nice, normal people, don't they? <laughs> Just like nice, normal. So um, Drew is blaming it on on Will because Will is a real foodie, and I guess you know is probably sabotaging her diet. But my thing is, first of all, you know, it took you nine months to gestate and a few months before that to even get your body prepared. You know, they tell you to take those, um, what, what, what's the vitamin that we, the pre, right, the prenatal vitamins. Um, anyway, you know, they, so it takes you a year to get prepared for having a baby and have the baby. So it should take at least a year to lose the weight without people giving you the business. So. I think that if Will, who clearly did not gain any weight, you know, a lot of times our men gain weight with us, so it's a family effort to lose the baby weight. But clearly Will didn't gain any weight, but I'm sure that they live in some big compound with at least four refrigerators. I mean, <laughs> growing up in Jersey, you know, we had two refrigerators. We had the one in the kitchen, and then of course there's a refrigerator in the basement. <laughs> yes, of course. Some people, like just regular people like us, have three because then you have that deep freezer where you put your husband's body after you kill him, right? <laughs> um, but here's my thought. At their mansion, there's got to be an area where there is another refrigerator and maybe a lazy boy chair set up in that same room and a microwave. And I, my thought, because I'm a foodie, just because you're not eating doesn't mean I'm not going to eat, but I will do you the favor of walking out of the room and, and eat my Dagwood sandwich or whatever it is that I'm going to eat. And then regarding, um, regarding Drew, like, like Will, and don't tell Drew what you have going on in your special area with all the deliciousness. And then Drew, you know, you're a woman of means. Why don't you call one of those diet places that delivers the deliciousness to the house and the food's all made up. And then the weight will drop off. Anyway, but congratulations on the baby, Drew. Good luck with your weight loss. And everybody, we've got more fabulous show for you. Rhea Perlman is here. We loved her as Carla on Cheers. And now she's starring on the Fox show, The Mindy Project. But up next, it's time for Celebrity Fan Out. So keep it here. Thank you. Superstar Alicia Keys is headed back to the Wendy Couch. This must be a fantastic time for you.
I do my thing. <laughs> and Alexandra Schiff, star of the new Aaliyah movie. You've seen the previews. Now meet the girl herself. Tomorrow on an all-new Wendy. It's now time for Celebrity Fan Out. I love Celebrity Fan Out. Our first one comes from Tyler E. And Tyler watches the Wendy Show on KTTV in Valley Village, California. Sounds like a very peaceful place, doesn't it? <laughs> Tyler writes, hey, Wendy, how you doing? I was lucky enough to meet the princess of pop in Las Vegas, Britney Spears. Wow. Wow. Tyler says, she was so shy and sweet in person, a real Southern belle. It was worth every penny. I know what you're saying. What penny? <laughs> well, a, a, apparently, Britney charges $2,500 for a meet and greet after her concert. So my team actually spoke to Tyler on the phone, because you know me, I like the deets. Um, apparently, um, he was being hustled off. The meet and greet was very, very fast. Britney was adorable for the two seconds that he was with her, but it was the people, you know, it was like her team, like hustling people. $2,500. Gee. Good for you, Tyler. Um, Britney F. Is, is our next celebrity fan out, and she watches our show on WFLD in Chicago, Illinois. Britney writes, how you doing? It was parents' weekend at my school when I ran into Tom Cruise. <laughs> Apparently, Tom's daughter, Isabella, goes to the same boarding school, and, um, and Brittany says, um, he's a tiny man, but he's so, but he's so cool. <laughs> Thank you, Britt. <laughs> Tom, you know, is, he's five feet seven, but if you dip on one hip... <laughs> okay, our next celebrity fan out comes from Sarah A., who watches The Wendy Show on WNYW in Alvern, or, uh, sorry, Avern, New York. And uh, Sarah writes, Hi, Wendy. I was walking with my friends when I spotted Alicia Keys. <laughs> Good. Sarah says, She was being escorted by her security, but was gracious enough to stop and take a photo with me. She is gorgeous in person. Well, Alicia Keys will be here tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Our final celebrity fan out come fr comes from Aaliyah and Alexandra A., who watched the Wendy Show on WOFL in Orlando, Florida. And the girls write, how you doing, Wendy? When we heard that our favorite celebrity was going to guest host Good Day Orlando, we had to be in the audience. The host was you, Wendy. <laughs> But you know, because you know I don't like to take pictures. I'll talk to you all all day. It's just the whole picture thing. It's just like weird to me. So anyway, so, so the girls say, we knew you would give us a hard time about taking a picture with you. <laughs> so we got creative to impress you with homemade fan out t-shirts with Wonder Woman at the bottom. Yes, you did. Thank you, girls. If you have a celebrity encounter and you want to share, go to wendyshow.com. We love this stuff. Up next, the legendary Rhea Perlman is here. <laughs> We loved our first guest as the tough-talking barmaid, Carla, on the Emmy Award-winning sitcom, Cheers. <laughs> and now you can see her on the Fox comedy, The Mindy Project. Take a look. I'm coming out. Okay. Ta-da! That's good, huh? Annette, that looks like something that Rihanna would wear to hedonism. Oh, that sounds good. No. No. I think that those straps are just not age-appropriate. What? You sound just like Danny. Whatever happened to taking a risk? Mm. So was Danny always like crazy psycho about rules? Ugh, Danny was always such an angel. <laughs> I used to listen in on his confessions. So boring. <laughs> Please welcome the one and only Rhea Perlman. I'm 5'7", 
five eleven. How tall are you? Five. No, five one. Five one. <laughs> five one. Um, have you? Have, did, did it take you time to grow into your height? <laughs> no, it took no time at all. <laughs> you know, like to like it. Height. Um, no, I, 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 to like it. Yes. yes. You know, um, I didn't think too much about it because when I was growing up in Bensonhurst in Brooklyn, uh -huh. I, I, <laughs> I, I think I grew up in the short part of Brooklyn. <laughs> Everybody was short. I mean, I swear. I mean, like I didn't know any tall people. Yeah. So I would th everybody looked like Lilliputians, like me, like little, <laughs> you know, things. So uh, I, I, I didn't think about it. And then later on, huh. when I saw tall people, <laughs> when you, yeah, so tall people, I was like, that's cool. That's tall. Because that's cool, though. Like, I mean, to be a, you know, to be, a, I could never see over anybody. I always wanted the person in the movie theater to be shorter. You it, know, it was like. You, wait, but when you're, when you're very. Um, petite like you mm -hmm. are it must be like a part-time job to watch your weight because if I gain five pounds it's like <laughs> nothing if you gain five pounds it's like gaining a person I saw you in that rocket <laughs> oh, no I, I checked your body out in that rocking dress I never saw that much of you underneath that you okay, got wait, a... I just gotta tell you one thing that rocking dress is a bathing suit oh <laughs> That's what, I don't know why they didn't show the bottom part <laughs> Because she takes me on, Mindy takes, I'm, I'm going to do a water aerobics class. Oh. And I was just going to wear, like, this is in the show, of course, and I'm going to wear shorts, like Danny shorts uh -huh. and, and T-shirts. She said, you can't do that. People will laugh at you. You know, you got to, you got to, you know, get a, a, something nice, yeah. you know, a bathing suit, get some some glamour going. So I go, yeah, and I, I pick out this bathing suit, and she's, like, in shock. It, like, we so, Yeah, but... <laughs> But, you know, um, by the way, congratulations on joining that show. It's such a, it's such a good show. Did you, did you know Mindy Pryor? I did not know her prior, but I was a huge fan, a huge fan. And yeah. when I got, uh, when I knew I was going to do a few episodes of that show, I mean, I just felt, I mean, I was with the cool kids. Yeah. I was with the cool kids. Yeah, that is what, that is what the cool people watch. Yeah. Exactly. And, and my daughter, like my kids, daughter, my oldest daughter, Lucy, who's in it, she was just, oh my God. And she's, oh my, because all her friends watch it. Every, you know, it's just sort of a, a different audience for me. And it's wonderful. Yes. Young. Yes. Very young, very um, young and great. So let me ask smart. you, are they blow drying your hair or are no. they, is that a wig? It's a wig. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, you have hair kind of like a sister. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know. Have yeah. you ever um, permed it, straightened it, done anything? Or oh, Wendy, you have no idea. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, uh, I hated my, because I, back in, when I was a kid, there was no, like, it wasn't curls. It was just frizz. Yes. It was, they brillo. It yes. was just brillo. And um, so when st I heard of straightening and yes. I was just about 16, you know, I told my mother, I'm going to do this. And she said, no, 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 no. I said, yes, yes, yes. She says, okay, well, you're going to have to come to my hairdresser. Not that she had such a great hairdresser. Yes. And she's like, you know, this woman in Brooklyn. And we go to Mr. Tibbis. Okay. Mr. Tibbis. Who says, oh, I'll take care of you, right? Uh -huh. And he puts this gook on my hair. Uh-huh. And I, know, I was very excited. Uh -huh. And he's, I'm sitting there. And maybe five minutes later. It was burning and itching? Burn, burning, burning, <laughs> burning. And I go, Mr. Tibbets, Mr. Tibbets. Yeah. <laughs> he said, my, it's burning. She, Darling, it has to burn. Yes, beauty is pain it is what they say. Burns. It always burns. Well, five minutes later. Uh-huh. I was screaming. Yes. I put me under that sink. And so I, under the sink, hair. I come out. No, my hair was perfectly straight. Oh. Fabulous. I go, oh my God, oh my God. Right. After 10 minutes. Right. I go home, show all my friends. I go home, I go to sleep. The next morning, all my hair is on my pillow. Oh my God. Oh, oh. No, it was, it, I wore a babushka. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> A road of scars. As a young girl, that must yeah. have been devastating. It was devastating, but it did not deter me. Yes. Well, no. Um, so, you know, <laughs> Rhea, when, whenever I personally think about you, I think about your long-standing marriage to your beloved Danny DeVito. Yes. Who's from Asbury Park, New Jersey. Like yes. I yes. Now, I, 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 want, I want to tell you,
and you don't have to, we don't have to talk about it, but um, here on Hot Topics on the show, my heart was broken. Do you remember the day that we all found out that there was a pending divorce? I was like, oh my gosh, this is one of the longest standing, and you're such a cute, normal, like, you guys don't seem like Hollywood. <laughs> you know, you seem like normal people. And then, several weeks later, or maybe a couple months later, I reported that you're back together. Yeah, yeah. Yay! 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 Yay. Well, you know, I just want to say, like, you know, we, I met Danny, I met Danny in 1970, the end of 1970, that is a long time ago. Like 40 and we've ago. basically been together since then. And, you know, I, anybody, if you know anybody who's had a long relationship who has not had yes. some kind of a hiccup in it, they're probably lying about that. Yes, you know? yes, <laughs> you know? I agree. Um, now, if you are five feet one, yes. how tall is your beloved? Just asking. Five feet. <laughs> well, I, now how did you two meet each other? Oh, um, well, he was in a play. I, I went to see my friend in this play uh -huh. yeah, here in New York, uh -huh. and um, he was playing a demented stable boy. <laughs> and <laughs> like, <laughs> he didn't say anything that had words in it. He mostly said, "Hoi, moi, moi." Matter of fact, he sang a whole song called "Moi, me, moi, me, moi." Uh -huh. So. <laughs> And somehow I just thought that was really attractive. I don't, and, and I arranged to go out. <laughs> and all these years later, you're still together. You've got three beautiful children. Yes, I do. I remember when your oldest, Lucy, was born. And I remember when you Gracie was born. <laughs> no, but I've been reading the magazine since yeah. forever. So yes. I feel like I know you people. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, and then you have a son. Yes. Good Jake. for you. A full life, yeah. a successful TV show, The Mindy yes. Project. Yeah. Clap it up for our friend, Rhea Perlman. Mindy Project airs Tuesdays at 9.30 on Fox. Ask Wendy is next. Scandalicious on an all-new Wendy. We're getting all the juice on TV's hottest show from Scandal's Darby Stanchfield. I want to hear about all the scandalization. And we're bringing the hashtag hot topics. That's what I do. Thursday on an all-new Wendy. This November, it's November here at Wendy. We're making it rain all month long. And you at home can cash in. Cha-ching! Log on to my Facebook page and sign up for your chance to win. Watch us here every weekday. And if we announce your name, you could win cold hard cash. Get in on the November rain today. you that I am hosting and doing jokes at the Verizon, how you laughing, comedy show. It's gonna be in New Jersey, North New Jersey at NJ Pack this coming Saturday, November 15th. We're gonna have music and more comedians, including my friend Lunell. I'm gonna do a set for you and I promise to make you laugh and I'll be, dir I'll be dirty, girl. Go to wendyshow.com and get your tickets. And it's now time for Ask Wendy. How you doing? Hi, Wendy, how you doing? All right. I'm Rashida. So, a close friend of mine, I saw she's been married to her husband for over 20 years. Okay. Recently, I saw him in the bar, booed up with this chick. I don't know who she is. They were kissing. Very, very friendly. Should I tell her? Should I mind my business? It's I called her... Ask Wendy. <laughs> Should I wait for her to watch the show today? <laughs> okay. What did he do when he saw you? Oh, God. He didn't see me. What, what, what happened? Like, you left or you... He, no, I was there with a couple of other track moms. We were having drinks, and I saw him kind of over in the cut with this lady. Okay. And I'm just like, uh, I okay. know him. Okay. Personally speaking, I think that you need to let her watch the show today. Okay. All right. Very well. Good luck. Oh, my gosh. Oh, up next, everybody, we're going to play a special Beyond the Lights edition of Pop Quiz. Don't go away. Make your feed a little more fabulous. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for hot topic updates, candid pictures, and, of course, behind-the-scenes dips. Get in on the conversation today. What's up, Black? You the Boy Scout? I need some protecting. Movie's gonna be 
so good. That was a clip from the new movie, Beyond the Lights. It hits theaters on Friday. It's about a pop star on the brink of stardom who's struggling to balance her newfound fame with the man that she falls in love with who happens to be her bodyguard. Yeah. So um, now it's time to play a special edition of Beyond the Lights uh, Pop Quiz. Come on. How are you doing? Good, how are you doing? Good, now who are you, where are you from? My name's Angela, I'm from Connecticut. Perfect, Angela, okay. Don't help Angela, because if she wins, she's not taking you, okay? <laughs> All right, Angela, yeah. I'm going to ask you a question about a famous pop star, and you have to answer correctly. If you get it correctly, then we're sending you to the New York City premiere <laughs> of Beyond the Lights, okay? Yeah. okay. <laughs> Angela? Yes. Which pop star is not a mother of twins? Mariah Carey, Jennifer Lopez, or Shakira? Well... Let's see, I know Mariah has a set of twins, and I know J-Lo has a set of twins, so that leaves Shakira? Correct! Congratulations! <laughs> Enjoy yourself with the movie. Uh, you're gonna be, you and your guests are gonna be at the New York City premiere of Beyond the Lights. It's gonna be fun. If you see any scandal, make sure you send me a telegram, okay? Up next, everybody, a lucky audience member is gonna get a chance to win some cold, hard cash in a game called Race the Clock. Yeah. Don't go away. making it rain on you. Now, now we're about to play a game of Race the Clock. Let's meet our player. What's your name? My name is Maybelline. I'm from New York. How you Perfect. doing? How you doing? <laughs> All right, Maybelline, you're gonna have 30 seconds on the clock um, in this game of Race the Clock. Now, if you, if you do the following correctly, you're gonna get $500. <gasps> and, and Maybelline, Maybelline, you're not just playing for you. You're playing for our at-home Wendy watcher, oh. Ashley Stallworth. So, yeah. hey, Ashley. Hey, Don't help her. Because she's not going to share the dough with you. Exactly. All right, 30 seconds on the clock. Here's your question. Okay. Dancing with the Stars was on last night. Oh. Name four celebrities who've won the Mirror Ball trophy. Go! Oh. Uh, I think Emmett Smith, uh, the skinny ice skater, uh, Meryl Davis. Yes! Uh, Nick's brother, Drew Lachey. Go! Um, and, uh, You're good. Did I say uh, Meryl? I said Meryl. Jennifer Gray. Yes! Woo! Here's your 500 bucks. Ashley, your money's in the mail. He'll be right back. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm too. These are the girls at ShopRite. I have, we're, we see each other grocery shop. <laughs> Tomorrow, everybody, music superstar Alicia Keys, have a seat. And the star of the Aaliyah movie, Alexandra Ship, is going to be here. I love you for watching today. And I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye.